which is the first game book that I had ever played. Welcome back to Gamebook Collector. I hope everyone had a good New Year and Christmas. So the year is 1985, it's Friday, it's library day. I go into the library, I left a book from the shelf, thinking it's just a normal book. But when I grab the book and open it up, it's not. Which game book was it? Steve Jackson Starship Traveller was released in 1983. As I said there, I picked it from the library, from the bookshelf, opened up, and it's not what I expected. This was not a normal novel. There was um, an adventure sheet, crew sheet, ship sheet, um, you had to roll dice, I hadn't a clue what was going on, never seen anything like it before, I was totally immersed in this book. This is not a normal novel, this is not a science fiction book, this is actually a book where you play as a hero and all the outcomes you choose determine if you succeed or fail in your mission in the book. Open the first paragraph up and there you have it, gave an explanation background to your quest, it was um, illustrations on the left hand side and then the next page it was turned to 256, turned to 256 in the book and from there on you were given a multitude of decisions to make and that was my first experience of fighting fantasy. The book itself it, it basically um, it let your mind wander, uh, you were the control of the your thoughts, uh, even though it was description describing what was happening, but it, it, it was a, more kind of a personal thing. You you were immersed in this book, and as your mind was left to wander and images in your head, it was appearing when you when you played it. Um, yeah, totally unique for every individual, I would assume. Even though, the, as I said, the storyline is uh, is the same for everybody, but how you interpreted it, how you how your mind worked when you read the book, how much how much was absorbed. I immersed in the book, uh, it was different, or it is different. Uh, on the front cover of this game book, it's uh, there's two gladiators in the arena, and you have a very large robot with uh, blades in its uh, arms. It's obviously in the future, well, not in the future, but it's obviously in space, a different planet. You've got a moon in the background there, they're holding kind of staffs, uh, etc. So it's three gladiators here, not two. It's by Steve Jackson, it's game book number four. So if we turn to the back of the book, it gives you a wee rundown on it, it says Part story, part game, this is a book in which you become the hero Suck through the appalling nightmare of the Celestine Void The Starship Traveller emerges at the other side of the black hole into an unknown universe You are the captain of the Traveller and her fate lies in your hands Will you be able to discover the way back to Earth from the alien peoples and planets you encounter? Or will you and your crew be doomed to roam uncharted space forever? Two dice in a, pers two dice in a pencil and that is all you need for this adventure. You decide which plans to visit, which dangers to risk, and which aliens to fight. And the cover illustration of this book was by Peter Andrew Jones. At the time, the book was £1.75. And the internal artwork, again, is by Peter Andrew Jones. So this is my first um, delve into game books. As I said, the year was about 1985. And I can remember playing this game book on Friday, and I was uh, totally obsessed with it. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, my imagination was running right. I couldn't wait to get home and purchase one of these game books. But, but the, the game book itself, this one here, uh, Starship Traveller, wasn't the one I purchased. I think, uh, well, my parents purchased, I think the first one I ever got my hands on was Rings of Kether. Uh, and then I think it was Island of Lizard King, which is this one here, and then subsequently it was Starship Traveller. Now looking back at this game book here, I just feel that some of the, the artwork isn't the best in it by Peter Andrew Jones. It's very basic. Uh, it's nothing like Ian McCaig's artwork, etc. Uh, Russ Nicholson's. It's just very... Like the first uh, page there, I mean the Starship Traveller's there in space. It's just a scribble of of darkness. It's meant to be space. It's not, not very appealing. Uh, but unknown to me, when obviously you purchased uh, different game books in the series, there was different artists as well, and the artwork was completely different in every game book, more or less. And uh, and some of the artwork in the other editions of the Fighting Fantasy game books was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it was the only criticism, this, criticism of this game book was the artwork, really. I thoroughly enjoyed this story. I believe this game book, you don't have to uh, roll a dice to basically to or encounter to 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 complete the game book. 
Starship Traveller is right up there with my top fighting fantasy science fiction game books. Uh, another one being Rebel Planet. Uh, what's your thoughts on this game book? Is it one of your favourites? Or, or does it remain further down your list? Um, did you enjoy this one? I uh, thoroughly enjoyed this one back in the day and I still thoroughly enjoy it just now. Uh, I read it a few years ago and uh, yeah, it was still as good as the first day I read it. So that's Starship Traveller by Steve Jackson Game Book number 4. So if you like the content in this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and also hit that like button. It really helps the channel a lot. And uh, I'll see you again in the next episode of Game Book Collector. Thanks again for watching.